Welcome to Maths with Mr. S. In this video, we're going to use negative numbers in context. Let's get stuck in. So negative numbers, what are negative numbers? Well, put it simply, negative numbers are numbers that are below zero. So if you've got zero and you take away one, you'd have minus one, then minus two, and so on. Just like you're counting up, but you're going into the negatives. So as you go positive, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever, then you go negatives, minus one, minus two, minus three. But the key here is that as you go down the negatives, they are worth less. Okay, this is really important. As you go down, they're worth less. And the key is here, think of this as money. Say you had five pounds. Happy days. You got five pounds, but say you had minus five pounds. That means you owe someone five pounds. Generally, it's the bank. But if you've got minus five pounds, that isn't good. But if you've got minus ten pounds, that means you owe someone ten pounds. Ugh, that's even worse. So it's worth less. But as you go up into the positives, you've got five pounds, that's great. You've got ten pounds, that's even better. So the key here is as the negatives get bigger... It means you owe more money, which means they are worth less. But as the positives get bigger, if we move this way, then they are worth more. So it's better to have £10 and £5. So think of it as money. Okay. So we've got to look at these and put them in order. So we're going to treat them like money. So I've got minus £4. Well, that's a bit rubbish. Minus £3. So it's not just as bad. Five pounds, one pound, and zero pounds. So let's put them in order. So we'll start with minus four is no good. That is the least amount. It's worth the least. Because as the negatives go down and they're worth more, they're worth less. It's a bit strange the way it works. Think of it as minus four pounds. That's no good. Then I've got minus three pounds, which is slightly better than minus four pounds. Now I've got zero pounds. Now I've got one pound. And then finally, I've got my five pounds, which would be worth the most. So minus four pounds, no good. Five pounds, much better. This is worth the least. So think of it as money. Think of it as minuses. So the biggest minus is worth the least. That's the most amount of money that you need to give back. So we've got minus five, minus one, zero, three, minus two. Well, I don't want to have minus five pounds. So that's my least. Then I would have minus two pounds. Or minus one then zero because I don't own any money then that's good and then this one I've got a bit of money I've got three so think of it as money as you go down if you've got minus money that's more that you owe if you've got positive money that's more that you have so let's look at these these are no longer on the number grid but it's the same principle we've got minus 13 here I don't want to have minus 13 pounds I don't want to have minus one pounds. That would be the next least. Then I've got zero pounds. I've got eight. I'm starting to get and gain money. And then finally I've got 12. So as the negatives get bigger, they're worth less. That's the key. That's where people make the mistake. So here, minus 37 pounds or minus 21. Well, I don't want minus 37. That means I owe someone 37 pounds, which isn't as bad as owing someone minus... 21 pounds then zero and then this last one i've got 23 so it's very straightforward all you're basically doing is you are putting the minus money which is the most at the bottom working your way up to the positive money at the top which is the most but that's the key think of it as money do you owe minus four pounds that isn't really great but minus three pounds is a little bit better owning no pounds and then 1.5 pounds so treat it like money always think of it like money so now with this one what we've got to do is we've got to put these numbers onto the number line to make sure they're in the right place now the first one's nice and easy and the easiest way to do this is simply just to count up and then count down and then the numbers will just be there where they need to be so we've got zero and then beside it you obviously got one two three four and five now beyond zero, when we're going down the way, remember it goes into the negatives. So it's one less than zero, so it's minus one, minus two, 
minus 3, and minus 4. So we've completed our number line. So the number 5 is here. We've already put it on. Minus 3, well, very straightforward. It's here. Minus 1, we've got it there. And then finally 2 is here. So we just put them all on. And then you can identify the ones that you needed to put on the line. But being very careful, remember, going less than 0, minus 1, minus 2, you're going into your minus numbers. Now with this one, let's do exactly the same again. So if we're looking, well, to go up to 5. So negative 3, after that, it's negative 4, then negative 5. Then negative 2, negative 1. Remember, it's 0. Some people leave out the 0. 0 is very important. It's a jump. It's the sort of crossover between the negative numbers and the positive numbers. Then you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now let's identify the ones that we needed to. Well, we've got our 0 here. Minus 5. Well, it's right in the end. Mm -hmm. Then we've got 5 up near the top here. And then finally, minus 2. So always just put them all on. It's going to make your life a lot, lot easier. So now this one. So we've got 8. I'll do my positive numbers with 8, 9, and 10. So it's a 7, just counting down. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then I've got my 0. Don't forget the 0. Then I'm going beyond 0. So I'm taking away another one. So minus 1. And then it's minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Very easy. Now, identify the ones where we've got our answers. So 0 is there. Minus 3. Well, clearly it's there. 4 is up here. And then finally, minus 5 is the one at the bottom. So whenever you're putting your numbers on the number line, just put them all in. And always just be careful in case the increments are on 2 or 5s. But put them all on and you won't make any mistakes. Thank you for watching and don't forget the free worksheet and answers in the description or go to www.mathwithmrs.com.